Well, hello there. My name is Bo Shavasu, and I am a top-ranked Amazon.com reviewer. Today, I'm coming to you with Scrubba. It's a wash bag. It's remarkably large. I mean, look at this thing. Because it came in just this tiny little small package. Very lightweight, too. So already, it's ahead in the game. But we are going to test it in the worst possible scenario, mainly using these wonderful diapers from my daughter Lucy. Don't worry, they are clean, but we are going to soil them. But we're not going to soil it with anything disgusting, no, instead we are going to use Mother Nature's elixir. And so we're going to get this giant spoon and we are going to first have a little, and then we are going to Smear it all over this like this. <laughs> yes, yes, that, that looks rather disgusting. But we're not just gonna do one, we're gonna do two. I move my bowl of water right over there, and we're gonna smear a bit more on here. Oh, really grind it in there to really make sure that we can simulate just the foul, disgusting look. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if you're a parent out there who has a child and has experienced diapers like this, my hat's off to you. Now, another thing that we are going to do in this test is we're not actually going to use real detergent. That is, we are going to use Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap. Not that I'm a hippie, but just odds are you're going to be using this, I don't know, out in the woods or traveling or, or and you don't want to feel guilty dumping regular detergent into a nice little pond with no outlet. This is biodegradable soap, uh, so it's absolutely awesome stuff. You could brush your teeth with this if you like. So now that our diapers are uh, wonderfully soiled, go ahead and take a nice look at that. Isn't that just delightful? And uh, now we are going to, now uh, let's see, follow the instructions right here on the bag. It says, uh, fill, and then you roll and rotate, and then you, and very easy instructions, they're right there on the bag. Now, I am doing this not watching any kind of YouTube video or tutorial out there. I'm just doing it as a normal everyday guy who's just reading directions on the bag. Um, so if I mess this up, don't make fun of me. I'm just doing this on the fly. Um, I have about 24 ounces of warm water here. It doesn't say warm water, but I assume that you use warm water. And we are going to fill it up to, oh, we could fill it up to this line or this line. Oh, isn't that clever? Check that out. It says either um, if you have like a, a, a one shirt and, and one side, you know, a bigger load, etc. You get the idea. Okay. Let's go ahead and dump in some water here. Wow. Okay. It looks like the diapers absorbed quite a bit of water, so I'm going to go and use more than 24 ounces. Yeah. That looks about right. Now, Dr. Bronner's soap is extremely concentrated, Whew. and uh, he also tells you uh, how to join his cult on the side of his bottle. <laughs> uh, now we're gonna put about, oh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight drops of soap in there. That may be too much. This stuff is super potent. And then we're gonna continue reading the instructions on the side of the bag. Fill, roll, clip, and deflate, okay. Now we are going to try to deflate it as much as possible. And then we're going to roll it like so. It looks like we roll it down to about where this little valve is. Clip this guy so that it doesn't unroll on us. We can use the valve to make sure that all of the air is out. I think you have to squeeze this valve. So now, as you can see, oh, you can actually see through the window in there. And you can see the little nubbins as well. Phenomenal, okay. And now it says, uh, between 30 seconds and three minutes, rub. Fantastic, so we're gonna start our stopwatch. Now we're going to rub. Okay, we are at three minutes 
suds right now. I see a few suds, not a lot. I don't know if Dr. Bronner's will work, but that's why we're testing this. The next, the next step on the instructions is rinse. Simple enough. So I'm gonna take it on over to the sink, dump out the dirty water and rinse it. And now the moment of truth. Wow, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised. I thought there was gonna be a lot more of our stuff on here. It does not smell like Nutella. It smells remarkably fresh. Wow, let's take a look at the other one. Wow, quite impressive. I don't smell Nutella. In summary, what I like about the scrubber is one, the very, very easy to follow directions right on the side. There was a smart artist who went into that. Two, the fact that it actually works. It's worlds better than trying to scrub your clothes in a bathtub in Ireland. Believe me, I know from experience. And so I'd like to thank the engineers for actually putting this together. And three, I would also like to thank the nice people at Scrubba. They actually sent me this sample to, to review to see if in fact it actually does work. And it does. Uh, now, I would not necessarily use this to scrub a dress shirt that you're going to wear to a wedding. Uh, but it, it will clean that shirt. But unless you put like a bunch of bleach and detergent in there, it won't make it like super sparkly white clean. Um, so just know that. Now, it does work, and for that, I do give it a 5 out of 5 stars. It's extremely easy to use. It was relatively fast. I'm very impressed. A 5 out of 5 stars. My name is Bo Shevisu, and I hope that you found this video demonstration mildly entertaining and remarkably useful in determining whether or not you should buy the scrub -up.